between energy and frequency and the idea of photons. So this means we now have a new way of thinking about the photoelectric effect, uh, and that is the idea that H times nu is actually an energy. So it's the energy of an incident photon if we're talking about nu where we're talking about the energy of the photon going in. So we can abbreviate that as E sub I, energy of the incident photon. We can talk about also uh, H times nu naught, which is that threshold frequency. So this is a term we're going to see a lot, especially in your problem sets. It's called the work function. And the work function is the same thing as the uh, threshold frequency of a metal, except, of course, that it's multiplied by Planck's constant. So it's the minimum energy that a certain metal requires in order to pop a photon out of it, in order to eject, uh, in order to eject an electron from the surface of that metal. So this is our new kind of schematic way that we can think about looking at the photoelectric effect. So if this is the total amount of energy that we put into the system, where here we have the energy of a free electron, we have this much energy going in. The metal itself requires this much energy, the work function, in order to eject an electron. So that much energy is going to be used up just ejecting it. And what we have left over is this amount of energy here, which is going to be the kinetic energy of the ejected electron. So therefore, we can rewrite our equation in two ways. One is just talking about it in terms only of energy, where our kinetic energy here is going to be equal to the total energy going in, the energy initial, minus this energy of the work function here. We can also talk about it in terms of uh, if we want to solve, if we, for example, we want to find out what that initial energy was, we can just rearrange our equation, or we can look at this here, where the initial energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the work function. So before we go, we'll try to see if we can do uh, a clicker question for you on this. And we can, very good. Uh, so everyone take those clickers back out and tell me if a beam of light with a certain energy, and we're going to say four electron volts, strikes a gold surface, and here we're saying that the gold surface has a wave, uh, has a work function of 5.1 electron volts. What is the maximum kinetic energy of the, of the electron that is ejected? So why don't you go ahead and take uh, 10 seconds on that. And if you don't know, that's okay. Just, just type in an answer and give it your best shot. And let's see what we come up with here. All right, so it looks like some of you uh, were tricked, but many of you were not. So no electrons will be ejected. The reason for that is because this is the minimum amount of energy. Hold off a sec on the packing up, so in case someone doesn't understand. This is the minimum amount of energy that's required from the energy going in in order to eject an electron. So if the incident energy is less than the energy that's required, absolutely nothing will happen. That's the same thing we were talking about with threshold frequency. All right, now you can pack up, and we'll see you on Wednesday.